Hello, hello guys. Once again, welcome to Semenshia Farms. I know ever since I started importing the boa gold from South Africa to Ghana, most of you have been thinking about going into gold farm. And I agree with you guys. Once you go in there, you can never go back because gold farming can be very, very easy to do and profitable. But if you don't take care, it can also cost you a lot because there are so many mistakes that you are about to do in case you don't research and learn. And that is why today I want to share with you some of the mistakes that I have done here and what I've done to change it. And therefore, if this is a video that you would like to see, then stay tuned. But before we go in there, as usual, I want to say a big thank you to all of you for all the support that you've been giving to this channel. Um, you know, sharing the video, liking it, making sure that other people also see the good work that we are doing. I am very, very excited and very appreciative of you. Thank you. Keep the comments coming and keep sharing this video. And if today is the first time that you're watching any video from me, here at Semenshia Farm, we share our experiences with you, honest and transparent information, anything that we have, so that you can get the right information and make the right choices if in case you decide to go into farming one day or even if you're already a, a farmer. So if this is something that you would like to watch, please go ahead and support us by hitting on the subscription button so that you can join the Semenshia family. By so doing, you encourage myself and the team to continue doing more. Today, we are talking about gold farming and some of the mistakes that I have made when I wanted to start the gold farm. Let me take you out a little bit and show you the outside of the gold pen before we actually come inside and I can share in details with you. I'm going to flip my camera and show you guys a little bit of what we are doing outside. So I am sort of walking out the stairs of the goat pen, right? And as you can see, this was the carry-on when we imported the goats um, from South Africa. So that was what they were kept inside. So what you're looking at here is about two acres of land. And as you guys can see, I am trying to fence it. So I've planted a tree that's going to grow, you know, into a tree. And then from there, I can use wire mesh to fence it. I don't want to put you know a tree that cannot grow into a live tree so that's another thing um i've made a video about that um and you guys can go and watch it but basically i have fenced it so that you know the goats are going to be inside as the rainy season starts i'm going to transplant a lot of brachyria grass here and divide it maybe into two or three so that i can do rotational um, grazing here on this land right so from these steps let me take a step back so from these steps basically going down they are going to walk straight in line but then when they need to feed in lot one then they will have a branch going left and they can go and eat in lot one if i want them to pass lot one and go to lot two then they will branch left and go to lot two i have a small space here that I'm actually going to use for isolation. So in case any goat needs to be treated or anything, I will isolate that goat on this side, right? Um, that's the cattle ranch over there. That is our source of water. And then at the back of it is also um, basically our warehouse where we keep our hair production and everything, right? And this is the goat pen. I shared with you guys some mistakes, um, you know, that my team did when I was away. And if you haven't watched that video, it's a very powerful video talking about, you know, can you start a project whilst you are abroad? And by the time I was in the US, you know, my team started building this gold pen. And because I wasn't here, a lot of mistakes were done. Now I'm sort of correcting some of those mistakes. I think a typical one that is easy to show you is how this pillar was put down, right? How the metal is nil against it isn't the right way to do it, right? And therefore, when it's rained, it actually tilted the goat's pen in general. So now I have to brace it with a warehouse and make sure that it doesn't fall over. That is just not it. You know, the main thing I want to show you is inside here, basically, right? So I think you guys, you know, as you can see how, how my team did it. So it was all an open space where the goats were, you know, working in free range. And also the material that we used was this tick back, right? Because they are not straight, the holes within it was very big. So the goats were working on it and their feet could actually go inside, 
right and it, will, it could hurt them lucky enough none of them got hurt but what i've done literally is to change that wood and use a different um, wood so as you can see this the spacing are very nicely done so you know when they are working on this they feel more comfortable i'm not worried about they getting hurt or anything if goats eat well they relax throughout the day and you can see them chewing you know from from what they they ate um, earlier on so the first thing i did was to convert it from being an open space into division because you know you want to be able to separate them by their weight um again by male and female which is their sex again by different breeds so what i've done here is sort of divide them based on their weight right so these guys are just a little over um 30 kg right by very higher than these guys these guys are about 29 um you know 28 27 and therefore i've grouped them the feeding system is different one other thing that i also did was instead of feeding them in a feed lot you know that is just placed in the middle i also constructed this and i want to actually take you to this side and show you guys how i actually constructed this so basically what i did was very simple by using a two by four board right so that is a two by four board right so put that on the base and then put a two by two and this is a two by two board you know one on the left one on the right close it up basically right and then use wire mesh to cover the side and side so what we do is basically we put the food from this side and be able to feed by grabbing it from the wire mesh by so doing we don't ruin a lot of the food right um we don't we don't it doesn't it doesn't go to waste that's the same thing that i'm doing here as well in this pen i'm actually divided it into one two three four five because this side is more gonna be for pregnant um you know those here i'm happy to keep you know as much as maybe even 20 at one side you know whilst they are waiting to be crossed or something but to the left i'm gonna be it's gonna be what you can call it the special goats right and then to the right this is where you know i'm winning them or they are just here till they are crossed and so on so that is sort of what i'm doing but having them all together you can manage their their, their breeding right you don't even know if they are crossed uh, because the 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 back which is the male um there he is is always with them and that doesn't really help right so that is why i am separating them just like i show you guys this is how we do we are feeding them i think this is very smart idea so if you guys want to know more about it um this is it it's just two by two and two by four wood and then wire mesh it's very easy to even do it yourself or get a carpenter to do it for you right it really really helps and they they also enjoy it a lot um so that's basically what i'm doing i don't know if you guys can see but you could see that the, the 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 pen is a bit tilted i know most of you try to use this for feeding lots the reason why i don't like this feeding lot is because mostly they will come and stand inside right and pee and poop inside and therefore they don't eat the food that they've already poo and and peep inside but when you do it this way as i've done it here then they don't get to stand in and again you know you have your food also secured and that's the main reason why we also left about four feet interval here so that you'll be able to walk in freely or even bring food you know when you're coming in one other thing that i'm going to do is also sort of cover the top and be able to store hay you know use it for a storage so all this beam i'm gonna put uh, maybe a plywood on top be able to store um here as well because as you guys know this year i'm going very big on brachyria grass um if you don't know about the brachyria grass it's basically um a very high protein content green grass that i imported from mexico um and that's what i used to feed all my livestock my goats the, the cows everything that i have here um if you want to learn more about that the whatsapp number below contact them and my team will help you um get some but it's been a lifesaver for for me in terms of livestock right um so yeah this is what is happening here guys as you can see we are still working on it the right hand side is not finished yet as you guys can see it's still a work in progress right 
but by the end of maybe today or early tomorrow morning we should finish that this side is finished and as you can see they are not so populated it's, it's easy but i'm actually gathering another order from south africa and probably coming in end of next month so if you're still in need of the boa goats let me know but i know that is costly i understand we don't even know the freight price might even be increased and if that increase is going to affect the prices of these guys as well i believe the best thing for us to do is to get it in ghana breed it in ghana so that we can reduce the cost of it i can do it alone so some of you that are capable of, of affording this get some as well so that we can all breed and make sure that a good breed is in the country and everybody you know people with a small capital that wants to go into gold farm can can be able to afford it right so that is the goal here and i'm really preparing now i have about 30 of them but i still want to have i still want to go big you know i'm i'm loving the goats now i don't even look at the cattle but um you know i feel like we figure things out there and this is the priority now so yeah just decided to share with you guys some of you know the mistakes that were done um even though these woods were used you can see that we are still reusing them for different things right and they are cheap but you know we are back to using quality woods and making the floor better so that you know we can all be comfortable when we walk here and and i think that is that is what we are doing today so yeah i'll continue bringing you guys more updates about what is happening here but so far so good i am comfortable it seems like they are very full relaxing all the time so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and if you want to talk to me one-on-one -on -one, go to the description i have a link there click on that link book some time with me and i'll be happy to come and talk to you Thank you guys so much and I'll see you again with a new video.